data entry form part 4 we shall now continue adding more uh, fields to our data entry form we have been doing last time we added the drop down list and this time we are going to add a radio button list to this radio button list will show us nationality whether the user is Indian or others and uh, as we decided at the time of creation of database Indian or others won't come from database we'll manually add them so let us see how to do this so this time a model won't be involved and nor any validation will be involved no validation because radio button uh, from amongst a group of radio buttons one is always selected at least one will always have that dot so no validation is required and no database data is going to come here so let us see how to tackle this part here we go this is our uh, qualification that we already have and now we'll add a TR for nationality and we can start typing here so we'll be using radio button for just like drop down list for drop down for we'll be using radio button for text box for as usual the first property will be the the uh, first parameter will be the name of the property to which this one is bound radio button this radio button group is going to post the data to the nationality property of the model that will be passed to the controller controller is going to receive that object here in the index on HTTP post and nationality property will be obtained and linked to this drop down list to this radio button group the next the next property is uh, the next parameter is capital I this means the value associated with it if the user ticks this one then I will be associated so I is for Indian and then we have written a span Indian here this will permanently show Indian written against the radio button so uh, if, if you if you want to see it this way the radio button is separate and its data is separate this is the display that we can ourselves decide and had this been coming from database then this would have been bound to a certain property of the model and this one to another property of the model and maybe to a view bag if you want maybe supplied a small model into a view, view bag and extracted its fields here okay then uh, to make it pre-selected by default it won't be selected to make it pre-selected we can use this one this one says if you remember this is the syntax for setting the attributes on a input element I have input element here and remember how, how did I set that ID above I used new ID is equal to I can show you here when we were setting the ID of the date picker we were we used a dynamic for setting the ID attribute and here what we want to set we want to set the checked attribute if you see the HTML associated with a drop down we can say input type is radio type is radio and value is whatever its i this time and name will be nationality in uh, this is what it will be there but if we want to get it checked that is pre-checked then I'll have to write checked is equal to checked this will generate a radio button with a dot already there so checked is equal to checked but uh, uh, I'll have to write it like this but checked happens to be a keyword of C sharp 
it's a c-sharp keyword so a conflict is occurring here to resolve this conflict visual studio tells us that if you want to treat a keyword not as a keyword then you can write at the rate in front of it it will go as checked is equal to checked then we can similarly uh, bring in the other one here the other one will be brought here we can put a break here so that it appears in a new line enter and we can type it down here like this it appears like HTML dot radio button for nationality since the first property is common to both of them this and this they act as a unit that is if you if you select one the other gets deselected if you select the first one the previous one will get deselected so this is the nationality common property that sets them into a group both of them are bound to the same property if you are from PHP background then you can see that it will actually give name property same to both the radios so if you have a number of radios you want to put them into a group what do you do you put the name property same this is what it will do ultimately and then you uh, set its value as O and span others no validation is required let us run it and see what happens yes we get a nationality radio button Indian others so if I select this one the other one goes off if I select this one the other one goes off so they are a part of the same group so we have qualification we have email we have date of birth and we can see validation works fine these two are not well they don't need any validator so that's why validation is not done in this case now let us add the last one for a file input also if you want to upload a file if you want to upload a photo or something like that then we can use a file upload here so let us add that functionality also this is the radio button that we have now we can put another TR down here and inside that TR we can put the file upload button file upload control so this is what we have done here I'll bring it into view it is TD call span 3 photo followed by an input type is file this one is required this will need the traditional HTML here name is file you can you could have given any other name also any other parameter you feel I you could have written file photo file Z X file uh, we have simply uh, given it the same name so this is not the issue here so once your uh, this input will generate a file upload button so now let us run it and see what type of form do we get yes the form is very much there and uh, click on save all validators fire this validation is always done on server side so we'll wait for the server side to act we are not going to do it on the client side even though in some websites you might see a sort of client side validation but that is actually a validation through JSON a quick JSON validation is done so uh, we can now see that our form is there it is very much in place our next step would be to store the data into our database so till then we'll close it right now uh, thanks